oh, 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 oh my God. Ah, you're all up. Awake. It must be after, oh, it must be after nine or so o'clock. I'm always in bed by at least 7.15, 7.16 if I push it. But I can't believe this, this is amazing. You know, this starts the Lester Fartley, I don't get it, concert tour. And it's going to end after tonight. I'm not doing it anymore. This is it, the tour is over. So pack it in, fuck it, I'm not doing it. Anymore. And the reason I don't get it is because the modern world is just all screwed up. It is. I mean, I'm thinking about cars. Just think about cars and the green movement. Who the fuck needs an electric car? You can walk faster than drive an electric car. And I was at the fair, and I don't know, does anybody know the name of the Nissan fully electric car? Thank you, sir. Would you ever admit to anybody in a bar, if he asked you at the bar, uh, buddy, what are you driving in these days? And you would say, ah, I'm driving a leaf. <laughs> you're driving fucking vegetation is what you're driving. And then what worries me is if all the other car people start changing their names for the green movement, because we used to have Dodge Ram, Mercury Cougar, Ford Mustang, they sounded like cars. But what if Toyota came out with their Toyota Tulip? Or what about a Dodge Daffodil? A Cadillac Chrysanthemum. <laughs> now a husband and wife are ready to go out for the evening. They each own their own car. And they have to decide who's driving. So the husband has to turn to the wife and say, are you driving the tulip or are we taking my chrysanthemum? <laughs> Something else I don't understand. A couple of months ago, I needed new underwear. I, I don't buy underwear that often. But I needed boxer briefs. Anybody want to smell these or check these out? And I bought Tommy Hill figure. Damn designer boxer briefs. Who the hell cares? So I put these on, and oh, did these feel good? Oh my God. Oh, it was like I went to underwear heaven. It was amazing. And then, then I got the urge to go. So with these on, I went out to the outhouse. I still have an outhouse. And I pulled down my pants. And I can't find the opening. There's no opening in these damn boxer briefs. They don't want to slip anywhere. You have your waist and then you have your two leg holes. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Now, I have figured it out. I have a theory. You young guys like playing with your equipment, and so you don't care if you have to find it for a while before you compete. I need a quick exit. That's what I need. Please, I, I don't want to forget taking those home. Say and, and the other thing I don't understand is, in the old days, male genitalia were called the family jewels. You know, you protected the family jewels. Have you heard that term? Yes. The economy must be lousy. Because now guys refer to the family jewels as junk. <laughs> it's depreciated. Can you imagine this? It's depreciated. We went from family jewels to the junk. And that's what's scary is I thought, what if I ever got a job at a junk yard? What the hell would they have? What kind of parts would you have at a junk yard? I can see a guy comes up. Normally you go for a, a pinto door or a bumper. 
Not in the new junkyard, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, we have uh, left balls over in this aisle. We have right balls over there. Uh, we have compact cocks down this lane. And we have Hummer penises that go straight in. I'm confused. I don't get it. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>